as you may be aware if you're watching this video, these drains on the S550 cow section at the bottom of the windshield, you have one here and you have one on the other side. They have these holes, these three holes. So what I've done to keep leaves out of there is I've taken these little metal mesh pieces that I've trimmed with a Dremel and see the angled side goes along with the angle of the cowl. You just put it down over the hole like that. And then I use, you could connect it, I guess a few different ways, but I'm using good old Gorilla Tape Gorilla tape seems to be waterproof. Once you put it on something, it doesn't seem to come off. And it's gray, so it matches the cow section somewhat. So I'll just, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a piece of tape along the top, a piece of tape along this side. I'm gonna put one along this side, which is going to have to fold over onto this section. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. taken the same material and I cut one for the top of this and I use little zip ties just to hold it on there the problem I've been having parking near this tree are these little things if you can see it they're called there's, there's some type of seed but these seeds, now the bigger leaves don't go through these drain cow, through these cow drains, but these little seeds do. They fit, they fit right through there. As you can see, when they fall on this, they're coming from the, the hood vent and they just, you know, they fall through here. And now with this metal mesh, they're just gonna fall like that and they're not going to make their way down into the drain that's in the bottom of the AC intake so every once in a while I'll just pop my hood and I'll collect these little suckers and get rid of them same thing over here they lay all along this cow so I got a little blower from Harbor Freight a little battery operated rechargeable blower works great it's a little red one it's very powerful. I blow these things off of the cow and any other leaves that may be sitting here. But see these things, they usually slip right down through those drains. But this time, they're gonna meet a little re resistance and get hung up there. See, without this, they easily go right through those holes. And you get about 20 of these down in these cow drains, it clogs them up. So if you watch my other video, you know that I put an 18 inch extension, inch and a quarter plastic tubing on the bottom of the cow drain tube that's behind the fender well here. So my cow drain no longer drains through the small hole behind the tire. It actually goes through my inch and a quarter, 18 inch long clear tube all the way underneath the car. However, what I found out was when I'm blowing out the drain or I'm putting a fish tape in it, I can't really tell if it's going all the way through. So what I've done is I went and got more clear inch and a quarter tubing and I made it longer. just a few inches longer than 18 to where it just barely pops out the bottom of the car. I just popped a little hole in the road thing that they put on the bottom of the car. So now when I put a fish tape through the top, I can see my fish tape down here and anything that's in the drain will just fall through. However, what I've learned is if you blow an air compressor through the top of the cow drain, not much is gonna come out down here. So what you actually have to do is you have to put your air compressor blow gun up in the end of this thing and then blow upward. And then when you do that, cobalt makes a blow gun that fits perfectly in the end of this tube it's kind of like a 
kind of like a beveled type of tip on it that basically clogs up the end of this tube, which pushes all the air forward, which goes upward and blows anything that's in that cow drain up here like Old Faithful. Shit goes all over the windshield, all over the hood. But you wanna keep these drains clear. They're the Mercedes-Benz rain gutter. I hope this helps. If you're still getting leaves clogged up in your cow drain, go to Ho Lowe's or Home Depot and get you some of this metal mesh and use a Dremel. And what you'll have to do is maybe make a, a paper template of how the metal mesh needs to be cut and shaped for this area and then take your paper template and lay it on top of that mesh and use your Dremel to cut around it. 